Karen, it's Mrs. Lee here. It's assembly number 30 and it's the week beginning Monday the 22nd of May 2023. How are you? I hope that you are okay. Me? Oh, thank you for asking. I'm okay too. Let's start with our routine. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? I can see that the long hand, which is the minute hand, is on the number 12. And I know that that means o'clock. I can see that the short hand, which is the hour hand, is pointing towards the number nine. Put it all together and I get nine o'clock. If you got that right, give yourselves a quiet round of applause. Super. Now let's go over to our language of the month. Now we're still in May because it is the week of the 22nd, not long now for May. So for the rest of this week, we're going to continue speaking in Spanish. Hola, hola, can you say it to the person next to you? Hola, which means hello in Spanish. Makaton sign, are you ready? As you know, our Makaton sign changes every week. This week, we're going to work on this. Oh, it's a tricky one. Word says careful, careful, careful. Can you sign careful, careful? I'll do it from the side, careful, careful. Now, why has Mrs. Lee decided to have the Makaton sign as careful? Well, I want everybody in our school, look around, even the grown-ups, everybody in our school to start thinking more about golden rule number five. Mm, what's golden rule number five? Well, let's go have a look. One, two, three, four, five. There's our golden rules, there's a small version there. One, two, three, four, five. We look after property. Can you say that? We look after property. And that's not just things that are inside, but that's things that are outside. Mrs. Lee's been out with her iPad taking photographs. Let's have a little look. This is our outdoor classroom. We're really lucky to have one of these in our school. Not every school has this. When we look after the property, it means our bottoms go on these pieces. And inside, these are the benches. They're not for standing on. If we see you doing that, we know you're breaking our golden rule. And that means that you will have maybe a look from one of the midday supervisors and it won't be a happy look. Mm -mm, they'll be scrunching their face up. They might say your name and say, please sit on the outdoor classroom. But if you continue, they might have to say to you, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I have told you two times already, you're now going to have to come out of the play and stand by my side for ooh, about five minutes. Now nobody wants to lose their playtime, do they? Ah, <gasps> we know this, don't we? This is our slide area. Now we're really lucky to have one of these in our school. Do we climb up the slide? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Do we climb up this bit? And around the corner, there's also another bit to climb up. The slide is for going down. The slide is for going down. What else have I got? Ah, now, this is our table tennis table. And at the moment, we are trying to get some bats and some ping pong balls. Do you stand on top of this? Uh, uh, uh. Do you go underneath it? Uh, uh, uh. It's made of very, very heavy concrete. And if you go underneath it and you bang your head, oh, that's going to be very, very sore. Now, I don't know if you can see, but behind our ping pong table, we've got lots of trees that have been planted. In fact, it was my daddy that planted those trees. And we planted them way, way back at Christmas time. And they're starting to flower and grow. And they've got these sticks near them to help them. We don't want you to go near them. We need you to leave them. Because what we're trying to create in our school is more trees that are big like this that give us some shade in the summer. We know that our playground and our field can get very hot in the summer and we want lots of shady areas. So please... 
So please look out for these trees. Oh, I like that rhyme. Please look out for the trees. We're also very lucky to have, right at the bottom, the willow. And it's an area where you can go in. I think lots of people have gone in it so much, it's lost lots of grass. Please look after it. Now some of you like to go down to the bottom and do some digging and that's absolutely fine but you need to listen really carefully when you're out there to the grown-ups because you're going to be a long way away from the school. That little piece there is actually near our fence. Please keep away from the fence. The fence is there to protect us, to stop people coming in and to stop us going out. And the only reason we would go out of this fence is if there was a fire in our school and we had to get away. And luckily that's never ever happened. So let's hope that we can keep that bolt nice and locked. There's a bigger picture of the bolt. Please leave it alone. Now you might have noticed that on our playground we've got little bits of areas where the tarmac is starting to crack. And this is where you need to be careful. Careful. I need you to use your good looking eyes to see these and not trip over them. They are being fixed very, very soon. They should have been fixed a long time ago, but mm, some of those contractors didn't come out. So we need you to be really, really careful around those areas. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's one of our bins, isn't it? And that's where we put our rubbish. I've noticed actually in school that some of our properties not being looked after in school. Can you see these? And this makes me sad too, where people are starting to rip at our furniture. I'm hoping that everybody in our school can keep golden rule number five by being careful and looking after property. Can you help? Oh, great. That's good to hear. Thank you so much. Now I've got lots and lots of books on my display. Ready? Three, two, one. Did you see? Lots and lots of books. And those books are linked to golden rule number five about looking after property. But the property of the whole world, the earth. Because we want to keep our earth really, really safe, don't we? We want it to be a safe and happy place. Can you remember the Makaton signs? Happy and safe. Now, by you doing your little bit at Hartford Infant School with the trees, making sure the trees are looked after, looking after yourself so you don't need to go to hospital because you bumped your head or fallen off something, all of those things help our world to be a happy and safe place. I'm now going to read you a story about somebody who looked after property. Ready? This story is called Tidy, and I've read it before, but I think it's nice to go back to a book, isn't it, and reread something. It's called Tidy, and it's by a lady called Emily Gravett. In fact, it won an award, the Kate Greenaway Medal, because it's such a good book. So let's read it again. Here we go. Deep in the forest lived a badger called Pete, who tidied and cleaned and kept everything neat. He tidied the flowers by checking each patch and snipping off the any that didn't quite match. He tidied the fox by grooming his fur. He untangled each knot and each twig and each burr. He untied the birds from the big to the small. He tidied the birds from the big to the small by brushing their beaks and bathing them all. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if you've got a bird bath maybe in your garden for the birds to have a little wash and have a little drink. He picked up his straight, he picked up stray sticks, he swept and he rubbed, he polished the rocks and he scoured and he scrubbed. <laughs> I like this image of him with a vacuum clearing up all the leaves. So when a leaf fell, well, And it's autumn, don't you? Pete tidied up of all those bin bags full of leaves. But still he wasn't happy. Now the trees look bare and scrappy. And so to make it all look neat, Pete undertook a mighty feat. 
He dug up every single tree. Oh my gosh, he's strong. But then it rained and there was a flood. Gosh, we've had lots of rain recently, haven't we? And afterwards, a lot of mud. I've seen that come into our school on people's shoes when they're not wiping them. He called in the diggers, he called in the mixers, he called in the concrete, the rakers and the fixers. No mud, no leaves, no mess, no trees, perfectly tidy and perfectly neat. This forest is practically perfect, said Pete. <gasps> What's happened, children? Everything's gone, all the trees, all the bushes, even the animals have all gone. I'm hungry, he thought. I deserve a treat. So he hunted around for something to eat. But the beetles and worms that he usually found were under the concrete deep in the ground. And so Pete decided to go home instead. If he couldn't have dinner, he'd go straight to bed. But when he arrived and took out his key, well, there wasn't a door where the door used to be. What's happened? His house is, all, is gone. Well, later that night, Pete tossed and turned. His belly was empty. It rumbled and churned. As he lay in his mixer, wide, wide awake, he started to think, oh, I've made a mistake. So, the very next morning when it got light, he set about trying to put everything right. I think he's got his pneumatic drill out. A sledgehammer there and he's breaking up all that concrete. Then the animals came from the strong to the weak. They lent him a paw or a claw or a beak. You see them all helping. Being like teamwork tigers, aren't they? Like we are in our school. Well, they put everything back as it always had been. Mm, but maybe less ordered and not quite as clean. And Pete, well... He promised to tidy up less, but if he succeeded, who's anyone's guess? Look, <laughs> having a picnic under the trees, but there's the bin to put all the rubbish in. I like that story. Now, Mrs. Lee loves a tidy, tidy school. We know that, all the grown-ups know that as well. But we've got to remember that we do need to work in it so yes there's sometimes going to be mess sometimes you're going to be cutting out in the classroom and you'll have all the cutting out mess but it's our job to tidy it away isn't it everybody needs to help so if there's things on the floor please pick them up we always said that about coats haven't we it's also getting very sunny at the moment so we might be outside and putting on our sunnies we might be outside and we might be taking off our jackets and our coats Please, please remember to look after your property and make sure that your coat has got your name in it and your glasses somewhere as well and you bring them back into school, please, so that they don't get left out on the field and lost. So lots of things this week to think about. And I think that if we are all careful and we are using our good-looking eyes, we will keep our school being a, that's right, happy and safe place. And it needs everybody to be like Teamwork Tigers and Perseverance Parrots to make sure it remains a good, safe working environment. Right, let's finish off with our school prayer because that helps us to remember, doesn't it? Ready? You can close your eyes. I don't mind. You can put your hands together. I don't mind. But you must say the words with me. Help me to do the things I should to be to others kind and good in all my work and all my play to grow more loving every day. Amen. Did you look out for the bees on Saturday? I went to the gardening centre and I got myself a packet of seeds. Blue flowers, that's right, because of the bees like the blue flowers. And I planted them and I think that the lovely Mrs Orledge is going to be doing some more gardening soon. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Treehouse Club can grow for us. Right, that's enough from Mrs Lee. I hope that you have a lovely, lovely week outside in the sunshine, on the field, remembering our golden rules, because if we break them, we know what happens. You're going to get that look. You're going to get that finger and you might 
lose five minutes of your playtime and that would make everybody feel 